Hi, uh, Axel from Ghostcraft here. Um, today I'm going to do a short video just explaining the platform. First off, I'm going to kick off as to why I built this platform. So Ghostcraft is a, I mean, plain and simply, it's a, it's a AI powered article writer or article generator. I built it because I run a couple of blogs and e-commerce stores already. And I found that GPT alone, sort of standalone, gives really, really poor outcome. Um, after a while, I found that I could actually drive more traffic to my website by posting articles that were more relevant. So things that are happening in the world on, on the day um, or things that are trending within the news. Um, so what I did is I started putting together a model that would take an article that already existed, maybe something that was trending online. It will read it and it will try and understand the context and then, and then it would use that to then do the rewrite. Um, I've expanded on that model, so there are a couple of extra steps in there that improves the quality of the GPT output. But in general, this is the this is the platform. Um, first off, thank you for coming through and, and, and taking a look. Uh, I appreciate your trust and really hope that you could give me some uh, give us some feedback so that we can improve this platform over time. But for now, I'm going to go through the core functionality uh, that we have so far. So first off. If you've just come in and you've onboarded, fantastic. So when you're on board, you'll get a couple of options. First off, it will ask you for the topics that you're interested in. This is quite basic initially, but it's but it's just to get you um, get you in and get you articles that are trending. Um, Ghostcraft improves over time the more you use it, but also the more information that you give it. So it will ask you topics. It will also ask you for your tone of voice. So this is the tone of voice output that you would like for for your writing style. Um, next, it will ask you for a keyword search. These keyword search are really, really good for nailing down the relevancy of the articles or the trending article examples that it gives you that you can use to rewrite. And then lastly, it will give you uh, options to put in your website. If you have a website, brilliant. What Ghostcross will do is it will actually go away and it will analyze your website. It will try and figure out the keywords that you use. It will have a look at the audience that you use. And also it will have a look at the tone of voice you use just to sort of dial in the um, the options that we have here and, and make Ghostcraft more personal. Um, once you've done that, you'll hit the dashboard here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the, the core fe features of the dashboard. So when I come through, when you come through, I 100% recommend you go into the space configuration step. This space configuration step, obviously it will have your website on top. If you do change your website here, it will go away. And if, if the new website that you give it is a relevant website it will go well it will analyze it for you and it will give you a nice report to your email sort of within 20 20 minutes or so uh, next is the audience try and be as specific as possible here the model really really likes to understand who it's writing for and this is something that i found that you know the more the more in depth you can go in this section the better your output will be um, next off tone of voice pretty self-explanatory and the last of the keywords so these keywords are use, uh, useful for two reasons. So one is it's useful for search, the search and discovery functionality of Ghostcraft, but the model will also use the keywords for uh, the output generation. So if you are, say, for example, trying to target some uh, target some keywords for your website for organic traffic purposes, go in here and put, put them in here. Um, as it will try and include the keywords. It doesn't try, it doesn't force keywords in, but it will try and include them when and where it can. Lastly, for the um, for those of you that are, are doing a strategy which involves writing articles in a different language, or your you know your website is localized, here is a language output here, and what it will do is it will write it in that specific language. Quite a lot of the users that I have actually have um, websites or blogs in different languages and what they do is they'll try and find an article in English, pass it through here and then translate it and it tends to do quite well in their, their demographic or their language country. Next off, um, we'll go into the search functionality. So this is topic search. So if you've got anything specific you'd like to write about, this is the place to do it. So let's say, for example, I run a blog that talks about the Apple Watch or maybe an e-commerce store that sells Apple Watch accessories. If you come in here and write Apple Watch, it'll go away and it'll search our database and it will return uh, articles within sort of the next week that are trending within this, this search topic. So here what you can do is you can you know, Tesla app for Apple Match, app for the Apple Watch, excuse me, in the works. 
this is potentially really high value, high traffic content to rewrite, you can take this and you can transform it with AI um, and it will give you a, uh, a plagiarism free version of that article based on your tone of voice, your audience your keywords. Before we get into the rewrite section, we'll go into the daily inspiration. So the daily inspiration section of this will take your keywords and the topics that you're interested in, and it will just go away and it will find articles that are trending that may or may not be relevant to you. So if you're, if you're stuck for inspiration, use this. Um, there tends to be some really, really good little golden nuggets in here. And yeah, super powerful for your everyday article generation. Next up, we've got staff picks. So these are actually articles that um, myself and my staff pick out. They tend to be derived from Google Trends. Um, so these will be things that are already extremely high up on the Google search ranking. And again, they are tailored towards your audience and your keywords. So yeah, go ahead and use these if, if, if you'd like to try and get ahead of the game in terms of creating something that's trending or something with high, high traffic. Okay, so let's go back to the search. Where was I? So we are gonna be talking today about an Apple Watch. Go for the search here. All right, so let's have a look and let's yeah, rewrite the Tesla app for Apple Watch in the works. This seems like it's quite interesting. So what it will do is it will go away. It actually will then scrape the article. So it will, it will read the entire article on your behalf and it will try and understand the context of it, what they're, they're writing about and any other really, really core cool, um, accurate information that it might have. And then it will write a version of the article based on your audience and your keywords, quite simply. And then Ghostcraft actually has two models that it works with. So it has a writer model and it has almost like a professor or a teacher. Um, someone that comes in and audits the article once it's been written. So it will, it will write it, the auditor or the professor model will read it, and then it will say, okay, this looks great or okay, but I'd like you to make these and these changes. So it actually has a two-step process uh, involved when it, when it does the writing. I found that this really, really increases the, the quality output, um, but also I've got a couple of blacklisted words that I know that GPT loves to use, and it will go through it and it'll say, look, don't use that word, don't use this word. Um, there we go, it's it's gone ahead and, and given us a nice, nice output here. So Ignite Innovation, Tesla's upcoming Apple Watch paves, uh, watch app paves new pathways in content market, marketing automation. Perfect, so it's given this nice output. Sometimes it will give you um, headers and sub subheaders. So if you can come in here and add those as well, that's perfect. Um, any copywriter or content writer knows that the editing phase of writing articles is really really important so if you'd like you can literally just take this and upload it onto your blog perfect but if you come in here you can start doing some edits so this is a, a markdown editor over time we'll improve it but this is a subtitle so come in here and you know edit things and, and do it and, it and it actually has an auto save feature as well so next up uh, let's have a look at the outcome, the, uh, the outputs. So we've actually got a plagiarism checker here. So if you'd like to come in and check if there's any, any plagiarism issues with the article, you can come here and run a check. That takes a couple of minutes, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, and then next off, we have an export function. So we can either export this directly to a docx file, which is a really, really nice uh, feature that's just been added, or we can just simply copy it to clip, uh, clipboard. Cool. Um, that's it for today. I hope that this was helpful. I'll be releasing more videos over time, um, sort of explaining new features and functionalities that come out. Uh, apart from that, drop me an email or use the little intercom function at the bottom here if you have any feedback or questions or uh, features that you'd like me to introduce. Thanks for your time and happy writing.